Okay, guys, we need to talk about this. Yes, the Holy Squad Trinity of Declare, Set, and Get Squad Variables. Many of you had had issues using this where only a few AI would be affected by the scripts you have running to do something to that squad if you have more than one spawner using the same squad label. And it's not your imagination. It's 100% real. So this info video, not a tutorial, I'm going to talk about it and explain what we could do to fix this problem once and for all. This also eliminates the need to use the Trinity on many scripts, while well, some may still require it. Let's uh, see what I mean. So the main problem is, uh, long story short, is you'll have multiple spawners with a squad, Charlie. They're both Charlie. Both of these are Charlie. Uh, the problem is when you set up a Trinity, and I'm going to speed through that real quick. Okay, so we have our, Char our Charlie squad here for on squad spawn or squad label. And normally you're, you know, in a lot of the videos, that's all I would do. And I would set it up and, and only usually have one spawner, which is why it wasn't so noticeable until we started, you know, that one tutorial with the, with allying the effect infected with the, the AI, as well as humans having their own team. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to script up a little uh, vent here. When I push this button, we're going to assign uh, Charlie to the uh, zone up there. Okay, so I've got this set up. On Object Interacted, I press the button and we just, we assign our squad that we have here to our moves on up top. Now, whenever I test it out, you'll notice that for some reason, only one will go. And, it's, and sometimes it's random. It's whoever spawns first. And it's hard to tell which one would spawn first. But why didn't this one go? Well, it's just where, for some reason, the very last squad that spawns with Charlie is the only one that will be assigned to that variable, which is problematic if you have m multiple spawners using the same squad label. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the workaround that I've found in a couple of ways. One doesn't even use the tr Trinity at all. The second, the first one though is the one that will still use it, and we're gonna go for each object, plug it in here, just like this, and we're gonna get every AI in the in the map. So uh, get all AI units, and we're gonna assign them as well. And you're probably wondering why all the units. I might have different squads. Well, that's important, and that's why we're going to do this. We're going to uh, get squad from AI unit. Then we're gonna go to AI advanced and go to get squad has squad label. Go ahead and plug current object into the AI and then squad into the squad of this. And the squad label, you want that to match the one you're messing with. So Charlie, yeah, that's what we're messing with. And the only thing we have left to do is go up here to um, assign AI unit to spawn squad. Go ahead and execute project, the AI unit to current object and then squad to the one we have set up our variable. What this does is since Charlie or the, our variable squad would be spawned in, then every one that has Charlie, which of course we would be using the Charlie label, would all be conglomerated, if that's the right word. I'm probably, uh, consolidated, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh man, uh, we'll all be consolidated into one squad. And you'll notice that when we do that, they move over to the same group. They all group up together. And now when I push the button, yes, they all will move. That is the first way of doing it. They all work. Okay, and that impl that includes uh, this. If I duplicate this one more time and we go on in, now we have that many. They're all moving. So yes, everybody in the map that spawns with Charlie is now a part of the same Charlie squad variable. That's the first workaround. What if you don't want them to all just move into one point though? What if you still want them to remain at their stations? You don't want them to do that and you want something to happen. Well, we can kind of just clear all this. What we do here, we simply disconnect this. We move this over because we're going to do a little bit here. We're going to go down to logic and then we're going to use the same for each object. A very similar, pretty much the exact same method we used earlier, except without using the Trinity. So we're going to go up here to AI and get squad from AI unit. Go ahead and plug it in there. And then go to AI advanced, get squad head squad label, and just make sure that the lab squad label is the one that you're messing with, which us would be Charlie. There we go. 
And then lastly, we use get all AI units because I haven't done that part yet. There we go. There we go. Boom, plug it in there. Use that and then execute per object. The squad, you'll want to plug that into this. Actually disconnect this, I'm a big dum-dum. Uh, we need to make sure we put a branch there so that way it's not every single AI unit in the game. There we go. Execute per object on the branch. That's, there we go, and on if true because you want to make sure that they have the Charlie squad label. That's better, I almost did a big uh, oof there. But there we go, that's what you do. Now if we do it, all three will remain in the same spots. But if I push this button, everybody starts to be activated and go toward the move zone and you can do anything this is this is the solution to killing all of a single squad on the map without them all being in one spot it lets you affect them in all the different ways you want without ever having to set up a trinity and it's just this is a very clean way of doing it that i found out works and i'm so happy because it means the less trinities i have to use and also the first method helps for if we do have to use the trinity it, it all comes together and works really, really well. So there you go. I just really needed to talk about this. This info video was super important because it changes a lot of the information that would uh, appear in my older tutorials because uh, a lot of times I would do a tutorial and only use one spawner and never notice that this kind of thing would happen from the variables. And it only hit me once we started doing the uh, that one infected video. And then it, then it started to kind of come together and I was like, well, wait a minute. I think I have a fix. And it took me a while to really understand what I was doing for a minute there, but I finally got it and I needed you guys to know because this is so helpful and I'm, I'm sure that it's gonna make everything change. And that's it. I'm thinking this may be the end all be all for any issues involving this sort of thing. I'm really hoping they fix it, but if not, this is a definitive fix for that. And I hope this helped clear things up and I'll see you around on the next video.